so this is the agenda of this meeting and yeah let's start so a cmmi actually refers to the capability majority model integration which is a set of practices set of standards that used to assist organization in establishing and improving process based practices so this is a newest version of the cmmi model which is released on 28th march 2018 cmmi v2 is updated why it is updated it is updated to keep up with the increasing modelization of the market and it provide the correct solution to adapt and improve overall company performances so this model has capabilities model maturity and integration so let's start with the mid model so the uh, this cmmi has three model the development model the cmmi service model and the supply chain management model so what does it, it what does it mean cmmi development v2o actually focuses on performance improvement requirement and the key capabilities for a company that develop product services or like components uh we have seen in the organization like uh, sometimes uh, a company faces issues like uh, poor quality late delivery of the services or the product and sometimes our team members are not ex as much as experience um as it is required to develop the product and in that case it is very difficult to deliver deliver the product on time uh, meeting that uh, deadline and uh, sometimes it uh, it also create a difficulty in complex products because in uh, you know easy product it is sometimes manageable but for the complex product and services it is difficult to manage so this model in that case help to meet the need of the customer and user improves time to market like delivery and improves the product quality by reducing the defect lower cost and improving planning and budget so if the organization follows the standards and the capabilities defined in this model uh, it is easy to you know uh, achieve our goal the second model is the services 3.2 model and uh, uh it is basically uh, comes when we have you know um, a poor decision making like sometimes we uh, take poor decision while planning uh, and uh, and it time delivery so in that case it is very crucial to maintain the services and so that we can meet the uh, customer expectation so this services model provide a service environment where you know the service like the organization provides uh, the efficient and effective delivery of the product and keeps to satisfy the customer based on their requirement and prevent the incidents uh, kind of like uh, uh, defects and the issues and uh, run times issues you know um, uh because of you know sometimes if we assume a project which is uh, uh taking supplies from the vendors and we are not properly handling the uh, like service issues like how to communicate with the vendors or how uh, what to do in case of uh, some some you know mishappening happens like in this covid situation we have seen the delivery of the product so these services actually support or to cover all these um, issues and increase the quality and reduce cost and the third model is the cmmi supply management which is focused on uh, performance initiative and improvement improvement for organization that acquire for services from another company like uh, so that you know uh, we can hire part, uh, like best vendors we can get the resources in the uh, good resources in a cheapest cost you know uh, all those allocation and deallocation of the resources so these kind of things are managed in the supply management and every model has the capabilities area each model has capabilities area so in this 
CMMI V2 version, there are four category areas, 12 CMMI capabilities areas, and 25 practices areas. When these uh, areas to be covered, obviously we will deliver a good quality product and we'll keep our customer and we'll keep our customer happy. So for example, uh, the capabilities areas are, four capabilities areas are doing, doing the right things. Uh, second is uh, like managing, like proper planning and uh, planning of work, resource and all. Then how to enable those securities and safety and implementation. And the fourth one is improving. Improving is made like improving the performance, improving the habit perform persistence. So all these areas are covered in the, like, is a part is, a, you know, is in model itself. And th the third is a maturity level. Uh, all these models have their own maturity. Like there are usually five uh, maturity models in the CMMI, the initial manage. Uh, third one is um, like um, defined. The fourth one is like, uh, uh you can say the fourth one is um, quantitatively manage and the fifth is the optimization and in this cmmi v2 version uh, all the practices area which we discuss um, before are at maturity level three which is the defined state uh, so overall if we consider this is an and the last, if you see the acronym, CMMI. So we covered the capabilities, we covered the models, we covered the majority. And the last one is the integration. So integration means integrating all these uh, models and the capabilities uh, and to make uh, uh, into a, into in like, you know, combine together to meet our business objective. Okay. So this is an overview of CMMI version 2.0. Let's start with the advantages. So what is advantages if we use this in the organization? So actually we have learned like uh, if we follow the development work, uh, development model and uh, their capabilities. So it is easy to you know deliver the product on time. So it increases the time to market need. And uh, it also boosts the productivity and efficiency of the quality because if we are managing our team and we are hiring good resources we are hiring uh, and we are motivating them uh, and um, we are providing them a proper training and learning so obviously at the end they will increase the efficiency and the productivity and deliver a high quality products that meet the needs of the customer this is the third advantage is like uh, every customer wants quality quality a product that is you know a meat that is 100 percent um 100 um, percent pure and for all the quality standards and less uh defects in at the time of you know delivery so uh when we deliver those kind of products uh we actually eventually make our consumer or the customer happy and doing this odd performance like doing uh this uh practices regularly and continuously we achieve the performance and uh, the third advantage is the high documentation like in this we actually create a proper documentation of everything which we make so that it is easier for the new uh, resources to learn things and to do the things faster when they have everything documented you know so it is always a good practice is to uh, make the documentation of things but in you know it depends uh it depends like if the organization follows then it's good but it's time consuming and then you know effort require effort so also it also uh make you know make the organization it's kind of a behavior make a behavior and the culture of an organization to maintain products and services up like um 100 you know maintain quality in the project so this is the advantages now we come up with the disadvantages so uh, we have seen like uh, the advantages and we know the uh, like all the models and things now what is the advantages if the organization don't 
like uh, like what are the advantages of this model so first thing is uh, this model is not appropriate for all type of businesses all type of businesses i mean you know uh, there are some businesses which are business to business which are business to customer which are uh, customer to con consumer to consumer so and some businesses are complex some are you know uh, simple so it is uh, we have to identify uh, the business areas we have we can use these practices to improve the business okay so second advantage is is the um, additional resources everything we implement in the organization we need some resources if we make the documentation we need the effort we need the resources if we implement it if we implement the continuous delivery and the continuous integration we need the resources to implement we need the time so in, uh, all these need to be covered need to be considered while you know the organization follow or want to adopt this uh, model and the fourth the disadvantage is like the major shift in the organization culture and the attitude is required sometimes you know uh, people are resist to adopt new thing so it is a thing that need to be required while you uh, while the organization uh, you know improves uh, the performance want to improve it so and the fourth and the fourth last not the least is the obviously i discuss it like it takes more time and the effort so need to be plan need to consider all these things uh, uh, if you want your product and you want to make your uh, customer happy you want to satisfy them so it is very important to consider those uh, it is important to understand the uh, practices areas capabilities area that this model provide to the business and then you're ready to go. Thank you so much.